Sandra, I'm looking at your spreadsheet here, and in general, it looks like it's spread, it's set up correctly. And you're correct when I, I run data solver, I don't get an answer. So I went back to look at your spreadsheet and I noticed that you're missing a formula here. Um, you just keyed in the total cost of 450, 600, and 750. And you put the, the formula there to get the sum, so that works. But this cell right there should be equal the number of the units times the cost. And I'm going to just drag that formula down so we can see it. I can test it there. If I put in five, it calculates over here. And I'm noticing, um, make sure I've Okay, there's another mistake in your uh, spreadsheet that I'm seeing here. As I change those, your profit is not changing. And the, you've got, um, you're multiplying the cost times one tenth. But we need the total cost, not the unit cost. So this cell should be equal that cost times 0.1 and I'll drag that formula down whoops what's going on there one, one. oh I, I just got one a value of one there so now now you can see that um, this profit here is is calculating properly uh, it is 10% of the total cost so now let's try running solver data. Whoops. How about data solver? And again, you've got it all set up. So ta-da! That's all it was. Um, you know, a bust in setting up these equations. You know, when you're when you're doing it, you know, play with it like I did. You know, put some some simple values in there to make sure that it calculates downstream properly and makes sense and uh, then I think you can you know run solver uh, successfully doing that but again just put in some test values and see if it looks like you know does change when when you uh, change a, a input variable and that the uh, output is logical hope that helps